Check it. All right, y'all, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at AMC stock, Ape stock. We're gonna briefly look at Jimmy stock and SPY stock as well, but we're focusing on AMC. This video is super important. This is a critical update. We're gonna be talking about AMC stock, where I think we're headed after the reverse split. We're gonna be talking about the realities of the reverse split and dilution. This video is for people that want the truth only. We're gonna be talking about the reverse split reality and dilution. We're also going to be talking about where I think AMC is headed, my personal plans, where I think the AMC is going to be going in the next couple of days and after the reverse split. You're not going to want to miss a second of this update. We mostly focus on AMC and APE in this video. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop in the charts, the facts, the data. Let's go. That's what is up. You are back for another video with Data Zero. So today was another crazy, crazy day at the slaughterhouse. Apes portfolio down another couple racks over the past couple of days it's just been absolute madness um losing thousands and thousands of dollars i'm sure i'm not alone we bleed together apes we bleed together apes but right now you guys already know i'm not going to get into a big long story if you've seen the stream you already know what's about to be happening guys i don't want the reverse split i think the reverse split is bad you guys that want the reverse split, you're well, more than welcome to try to educate me and debate the the uh, reasons why it will run. But what I'm seeing right now is a major shakeout to the downside. This is a major shakeout to me. And again, AMC is not Volkswagen. AMC is not Volkswagen. But we can compare this to the VW squeeze. We're going to do that in this video. I'm also going to be talking about where I think this is going to be headed, where I think the price is going to split at where i think the price will be heading after this and everything in between so you do not want to miss a second of this video we're going to cover mostly amc i'll briefly cover the market um again the market is bearish i'm also going to be talking about and on the stream i've already talked about this on the stream i'm able to cover a lot more content so make sure you check out the streams um i talked about an sqqq play for um, a big MOA style game a big MOA style play a big home run hitter high risk high reward play um, for the market crash. So I talked about that, what I'm doing personally. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. These are just trades that I'm taking and I'm doing. I also bought more XRP and Ethereum yesterday. I bought more AMC today, more AMC yesterday, and APE yesterday. So let's go ahead and hop in. Again, this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research and due diligence before buying any crypto asset or stock asset. Now, let's hop in. What we've seen today is the um basically the breakdown of a bear flag you can see this pole right here this bear flag right here and this pole right here so we see a bear flag type structure this is a move to the downside bear flag consolidation and then another move to the downside what we are possibly seeing is another similar structure and i want to point this guys out to you again i do not mean the bear be the bearer of bad news i'm only telling you what the charts are telling me nothing more nothing less do not kill the messenger let's go ahead and look at this pattern right here because it's very distinctive you can see that you have a move to the downside this v shape right here where it kind of goes down and then up a v shape right here and then consolidates to the side okay so move down then you have a angle right here move down angle bear flag move down move down angle bear flag move down let's go to the five minute on amc very similar shape move to the downside angle move to the downside angle bear flag what do you think is going to be happening a move to the downside we do have price targets to the downside for amc unfortunately at two dollars and thirty cents and two dollars and twenty six cents why those price targets because there is a gap fill down here you can see the gap fill down here on the daily chart right here there's a gap fill down here if this gap were to get filled before the reverse split that would be bullish because i could see a sudden bounce to the upside then and then amc running to the upside before the reverse split my theory is is that they want the price as low as possible before the reverse split happens they want the price as low as possible before the reverse split happens why because this is actually going to be detrimental to the shorts but also they have um a plan against that as well and i'm going to get to that here in a minute but the reverse split with the price going up suddenly is going to be detrimental to the shorts they are going to be underwater 
depending on their shorts, if they're naked shorts, none of this matter. And depending on the agreement contract of their shorts, that matters as well. But most likely with the price going to 10, 20, 30 bucks, wherever we split at, um, they are going to be heavily, heavily underwater. So that will affect shorts, having them have to get their price or the price suddenly jump up. Now, we do have this gap filled to the downside and we have a gap filled to the upside. With enough time, both of these gaps would get filled. But since we have the reverse split here in a few short days, just two days, it is on the 24th, we might not see one of these gaps get filled. Now, I'm thinking this gap to the downside is going to get filled. Why? Because we have this bear flag technical structure and currently, right now, AMC is currently breaking to the downside with this bear flag. Now, I want to point out something. If you didn't see this, if you didn't check my live stream, go to my live stream and go to the end of it. AMC had this crazy glitch where it pumped up to $3 and then suddenly the whole screen flashed and it returned back to normal. Something is going on with AMC. Now, this is a little bit more speculative, but guys, something is going on. I also think hedge funds are extremely terrified right now because they are trying to shake us out with everything they have they're literally dumping ape they're literally dumping amc they're dumping everything trying to control the price to the downside trying to shake as many people out as possible before this thing runs up and has that reverse split i do think we will see a rally after the reverse split why because all of this court court stuff will be court case stuff will be behind us one thing People can actually invest in AMC. AMC fundamentals will be more improved because the short thesis is literally destroyed. It cannot go out of business because it has a lot of cash. So it will not be going out of business anytime soon, I should say. Not that it can't, but not anytime soon because it has a ton of cash and it will be okay to weather a storm. Now, I think AMC is going to definitely see a rally after the reverse split. Also, you have to think about the psychological aspect. The price is suddenly going to be up. People are going to be like, hmm, AMC's price is at $10. AMC's price is at $20, at $30. What's going on? And they're going to get involved. And now that the court case stuff is over, people are going to be less scared to get involved. So you have to think about these aspects in psychological behavior of humans. So after this, we're going to see a rally. And again, the fundamentals improve as well. So after this, I do think we're going to see a rally on AMC. Now, over the stream, I talked about a lot of stuff with how I think they're dumping Bitcoin for liquidity, how we see HKD pumping for liquidity, um, the glitches. We're seeing multiple signs of crazy behavior before a massive run up, I do think, in my personal opinion. How high is it going to be? I don't know. But what I think is coming is a managed squeeze event. It's not going to be. And some people are going to hate me for saying this, but you have to come to this channel for the truth. I don't speculate. I just tell you how I feel, what I'm thinking based off the charts and how I personally feel. What I'm thinking is it's going to be a managed squeeze event. So basically, I think that with AMC's price jumping to 20 bucks, I think we're probably going to um, reverse split around $2. So the price will jump to about 20 to $22 because I think we're going to fill the gap. So let me explain that real quick, and then we'll go to the reverse split part. So basically, I think what's going to be happening is, and I'll show you guys the price. What we'll probably see is AMC either continue to the upside just a little bit more, confirm the bear flag, and then come down and fill this gap. This could happen here in after hours or in pre-market or like right when the market opens. So this could happen at any of these times because this is a pre-market or after hours move. So we could see the bear flag play out in after hours. We could see it um, do it in pre-market or right when the market opens. Now, if we don't see this drop down and fill the gap right when market opens or a head that way um, here tomorrow, it's only a couple cents away. So it's most likely going to get filled. This, These two red lines are where the gap fill is on the daily time frame. If you guys see, I have it marked outlined here in red. So that is where the gap fill is, and I do think it is going to get filled. But basically what I think is this get, this bear flag is probably going to play out. It looks like it's breaking to the downside now, and we're going to see one more push to the downside. This would really overextend RSI to the downside too as well. As you guys can see, RSI is oversold on almost every metric on the four-hour on the daily, it's almost oversold. If we get one more little push down, it'll be oversold. So this will put RSI extremely oversold on every metric and will be outside of the Bollinger Bands. So we could see a rapid snap to the upside, especially if this happens tomorrow. We could see a quick push down and then a rapid snap to the upside as price tries to recover 
And if we do see that rapid snap to the upside, we could see it go to about three, four dollars possibly. And if it goes to three or four dollars, hedge funds will be terrified. I just thought about it like hedge funds are going to be terrified if it's split at four dollars we were at four dollars if it's split to four dollars we're going to go to four dollars and thirty cents if it's split at this level we'd go to four forty three dollars guys we'd be past all-time highs once past all-time highs all these shorts are underwater like if we squeeze and get past all-time highs like this thing is going to take off so if we happen to ha have a rally like here tomorrow we bounce, find the bottom, and get a spring to the upside, and we make it to three, four bucks, and go to 30, 40 bucks, we could take off. And if some miracle we happen to get to five dollars and squeeze the 50 bucks, we'll just take off because all shorts are going to be underwater. We would definitely see some type of rally after that. Now, the downside is they have a ton of dilution to stop this thing. They have a ton of dilution to stop this thing. But if we've seen 50 bucks, you would see AMC just absolutely take off. Now, if we see something lower than that, 20 bucks, what I think we're going to see, that's why they're trying to push this thing down as low as possible. So I think we'll see like 15, 20 bucks. We could see AMC basically do something like this. Um, so it splits, it dumps down, finds a bottom, and then returns to the upside. Things start to get out of control. And there's going to be keys depending on this rally. So you're going to want to watch this closely with me here on the channel because there's going to be keys depending on this rally after the reverse split. So say price splits and then um, market opens, you see it dump. Over the next couple of days, it finds a bottom and then starts to head back to the upside as things get out of control because the price is too high, shorts are underwater. Now, the thing that has to happen is we have to keep the FTDs, okay? So if this is what I think it is, and I'm hoping I'm wrong on this, but if this is what I think it is, it's a cleanup operation to get rid of the FTDs. And we'll know there's going to be evidence. If AMC is suddenly off the threshold security list, that's evidence that they took the FTDs away. If we see the FTDs here um, report and there's suddenly just no FTDs, that means they took the FTDs away. What I think they're trying to do with the reverse split is get rid of all the synthetic shares and all of the FTDs. Now, with a smaller float, a smaller float and the price is high, it could definitely see a big move to the upside. We also want to watch for short interest. We want to make sure that shorts are not using the reverse split to cover. So if we see short interest have a sharp drop down after the reverse split, we know that shorts use the reverse split to cover and it's going to be less likely that a squeeze could happen. So we want to watch for these things. And also, we don't want to be a moon boy pumper and tell people lies. So because of the dilution, a chances of a squeeze are greatly reduced. And they can also, if it does get out of control, dump shares on it to try to slow it down and eventually stop it. So we want to watch for those things as well. These are all things I'm going to be watching for over the next couple of days. So we want to watch this play very, very closely. If you have a lot of money in this, not financial advice, you can watch whatever YouTube you want. And I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm going to be watching these key things very, very closely on the live streams and on the videos. So you want to tune into the channel. Okay, you want to tune in the channel. We're going to be watching short interest to make sure that doesn't drop. We're going to be watching the threshold security list to see if it suddenly disappears after the reverse split. And we're going to be watching FTDs as well. Cost of brawl is extremely high. Why? Because they're trying to short this thing down with everything they have. Even though they have zero shares available to borrow because they're not allowed to short it anymore, they're still finding ways to short it by making shorting. So this thing could absolutely get crazy. If the FTDs and short interest remains and the shorts are still trapped after the reverse split. So if there is tra if they're trapped after the reverse split, like they should be if they're doing everything by the books. We already know there's a ton of crime and they might use this thing to cover and get rid of the FTDs. That might be what this is. But if I'm wrong, this thing could get out of control. And having a much lower float and a higher price could definitely send AMC to the moon, especially with the short thesis being destroyed and fundamentals kicking in as well so that's what i'm looking at for amc on the short and long term i do think they're going to try to push it down over the next two days push it down to fill this gap now what i think could possibly happen is it could just be a sharp drop down and then a v-shaped recovery hopefully we get a day or maybe a day and a half half a day it's just some time to start getting the recovery back up to three dollars because i would love for us to split 
and get to at least $30 because the closer we can get to all-time highs, the better. We we have to beat all-time highs to put shorts completely underwater and see this thing just get crazy. If we can get to all-time highs, this thing can get crazy quick, trust and believe. Anything over the golden zone is good though. The golden zone is $8 to $12 if you're new to the channel. I know I have a lot of new followers, but we also have indications that this thing is getting crazy as well here on the technical. So look, the OBV is approaching all-time highs. Here's the OBV on the weekly. You guys can see the highest it's ever been is about here at um, 13. You guys can see that it's at 11 right now. So here's the current OBV. And then here's the highest it ever been. I'm going to put the bar there. You see that gray bar on the bottom of your screen? That's the highest ever been. And look where it is now. So we are very, very close to all-time high OBV. I'll show you guys what OBV is if you do not what, know what OBV is. But it is an indicator that you can use to determine bullish or bearish outcomes. It is showing that no one is selling. It is literally proving that no one is selling. It shows crowd sentiment and can predict a bullish or bearish outcome. OBV on balance volume is a technical indicator of momentum using volume change. That is showing that momentum is built up in the stock. You can see the Bollinger Bands are constricted. You can see that momentum is built up. You can see that the MACD is starting to curl to the upside. You can see that the Bollinger Bands are constricted on the monthly time, tame, time frame. If we see AMC's price suddenly shoot up because of a reverse split all the way to 20, 30 bucks, this thing could get crazy. Look how bullish that would be if we see price suddenly up here. It could get crazy. It could come all the way down to the golden zone, use it as support, and then begin to push up. So this is what I'm looking at for AMC. I am hopeful for a rally, but guys, I have to be realistic with you. You know this channel. I got to keep it a buck 50 with you. So you already know this channel. If you want some lies, you would have to go to another channel. We have to watch out for this dilution. This dilution could wreck the whole squeeze, literally ending the whole squeeze. So we have to watch out for that. Now, we've never had a conversion where a stock has been split and converted back to another stock. That is unheard of with a reverse split. So this is something completely new. So we also have that factor. This could be something way out of left field that just causes chaos for the shorts and just causes so much confusing that it does break something as well. We also have the stock market starting to pull back and liquidity drying up because I do think they are trying to dump Bitcoin for cash in their portfolio. So they're trying to get, they're dumping their Bitcoin cap position to get cash for their portfolio for margin calls. They're also uh, pumping stocks like HKD. If you look at HKD, HKD was up about 70% today. Um, let's go ahead and look at HKD. It's up only 24% now, but you guys can see basically it rallied to the upside, made this bull flag, pumped it upside, went to $8 and then came back down. It was at uh, only $5 at the beginning of the day and ran all the way up. They pumped these uh, China IPO stocks and, and China stocks to get liquidity as well for their portfolio because of margin, margin calls. So there's many, many things showing that there is a lot of trouble in the background. We cannot see what the hedge funds are doing, but we have certain data to give us clues. That's why I focus on cost to borrow. That's why I focus on short interest because there are ways that they do manipulate it. I know that I'm not blind. I'm not dumb. They manipulate it. There's other crime. They make it short and stuff like that. But there are legit things and legit data as well that um, does matter. And we're seeing cost to borrow raise. That means there's a lot of demand for short positions for AMC. So that's telling us that they wanna desperately keep it down. We're also seeing pumps for liquidity. So that's letting us know that possible margin calls are coming in and liquidity for AMC is drying up. And AMC, in my personal belief, is deeply tied into the economy and into the stock market. So when AMC, for example, you see AMC go up, when stocks like AMC, Apple and Tesla go down. Why? Because they use those types of stocks for liquidity for AMC short positions. So again, I do think AMC is deeply tied into the market and um, it has much more effect than people think. And I do think it might even be the trigger for the collapse as the banks are already stressed out. The banks are already stressed out because we already have a banking crisis and we already know that some banks hold AMC short positions. So let's just say AMC had a MOAS and already added pressure on top of a pressure cooker. It's going to absolutely explode. So that's why I think they're fighting tooth and nail to stop this thing as well. And any type of macroeconomic collapse could cause AMC to have a MOAS as well, even 
if it did reverse split and we as long as the shorts are not covered okay so as long as we get to the reverse split and shorts do not cover we're good if the shorts cover the play is over the play is 100 percent over if shorts cover because you can't have a reverse split without a massive amount of shorts so anyone pumping it if the shorts cover that is a lie. Now, dilution greatly diminishes the chance of a squeeze, in my personal opinion. And even if we see some type of rally, they can use the shorts, uh, the shares to try to stop the rally. So it would be a managed event. That's why I'm saying it's going to be a managed event. But guys, this is all realistic stuff. I want you all to be prepared. If you want Moonboy lies, you can go to a Moonboy channel. But I know a lot of you have a lot of money in this and you need realistic information so that is why i'm here giving that to you please press like and subscribe now let's go ahead and look at what's going here on the charts it is pumping to the upside i do think this bear flag is going to play out we could see it go all the way up to about two dollars and sixty cents hit its head and then come back down again we're looking for this gap fill to get filled a sudden drop to the downside and then a recovery back to the upside so that's what i'm looking at for a m c stock i'm going to quickly cover ape um and then i'm going to cover spy and wrap up the video um i do apologize about gme gme is pulling back with amc gme and amc are the same stock no matter what people say okay gme and amc are the same stock it's ran on the same algo that's why gme even with no news pulls back with amc so anyone telling you like it's a different stock and stuff like that now it doesn't have the ceo trying to manipulate it um and destroy it from the inside out so that is a good thing as well and i do think gme is set up for a moas um especially if amc runs gme will run they'll run together um and vice versa ape ape is starting to get a bounce it bounced off of 178 it bounced off of 178 it's starting to get a bounce um i called out a price target of 188 and it did close on 188 so i called that out here during the stream um, as you guys can see, it is consolidating. What I think they're trying to do is try to keep Ape away from AMC. They need AMC down as far as possible um, so it doesn't split very high. So they need AMC down as far as possible so it doesn't split and get out of control. But they also want to make money from the Ape arbitrage. So they need Ape's price to be as far away from AMC. That way they can make the most money. There also is a gap fill down here for Ape at $1.50. So that's probably their price target for Ape. But Ape is trying to push to the upside and recover back to about two dollars if we can see ape get above two dollars it could make a nice move to the upside but again they are trying to um control the price and then Terra, they try to sell shares control the price they do different types of manipulation to control the price pushing it down as far as possible so they can make as much money as possible off of the conversion itself again they need apes price as far away from amc not close to amc a lot of people say they want it close that's not true they want it as far away as possible that way they can make the most money but they have to push amc down so they're going to have to try to push ape down as well but both amc and ape want to move to the upside because there's so much bullish pressure and momentum built up so many people are buying creating ftds i know people that personally bought here on stream i bought so many people are buying instead of selling and instead of getting shooken out and that's the least thing that they want so again this thing is slowly trying to creep up we also had a hundred million volume today so again people are loading up okay people are loading up on these big red days people are loading up and that's a huge sign to me and the amc is not v-dub it's not volkswagen but look what happened on volkswagen you had a big you started to move up to the upside, then you see a push to the upside, then you see a massive capitulation, and then you see a run to the upside. This is either where shorts cover or start to cover, smaller shorts start to cover, then the next thing you know, it just has a huge gap up. Guess what the the gap up could be? The reverse split. You guys see that? You, you have a run up to the upside, then you dump. Our gap up for AMC would be the reverse split. You guys see that? And then we just run. So Xen, when I show you guys this type of pattern, it could definitely, definitely, definitely play out as we see the reverse split and then we see AMC just start to run. It could definitely happen. But what they'll do is try to dump the shares on it to make sure it doesn't get out of control. So I wish they just didn't have those dilutive shares because the shares are going to be diluted up to 90%. Okay, so we have all of these factors leading up to a possible rally for AMC. Um, after the reverse split, the fact that all the court case will be over, the price will be high, shorts will be completely underwater, a lower float. So we do have factors, but that we also have things going against us with those dilutive shares. But again, look, we could have a sudden run up and then reverse split, which pushes us up.
with this sudden gap and then just run fill the gap later so again this could happen for amc this literally could happen for amc amc literally looks like it's set to explode a big push up all of a sudden could set this thing off now when it happens we could see a sudden drop quickly coming back to the golden zone and pushing back up i'm going to be covering everything good luck to everyone i'll let everyone know what i'm doing with my position personally um, and what I plan to do as I am always transparent about how I move. And again, I think Ape is going to get a recovery back up to $2, but they're going to want to try to push Ape down. So watch for that gap fill to the downside. Spy, Spy is overall bearish. I do think Spy is going to be crashed, crashing. Um, I am playing the market crash me personally. And if the market crashes, I will be making MOAS type gains off of the market crash. That is the play on SQQQ. I talked about it on the stream, so check that out if you want to see that. If you're in the Discord, you already know about the play, so that's good with you guys. Um, but again, I do think the market is going to be crashing. The trend is your friend, so you can continue to see SPY showing weakness as it moves to the downside. Even as it gets its bounce, it's still showing a lot of weakness to the downside. I do think SPY is going to continue to the downside. I called 460 as the top. I called it on Twitter. I called it on YouTube. called it on everything. It hit 459. 44 and then started moving to the downside ever since so this is what i'm looking at on spy i do think it is going to start continuing to the downside it doesn't have much strength if this is all we got from the bounce it's not looking good so the legs could fall out on this thing anytime again i think the market crash the bulk of it's going to be in september but it could start at any moment it's already starting now i think it already did start now but i think the bulk of it's going to be in september and October, as those are also historically down months for the S&P 500 as well. So again, September, October, look for us to start playing this macro bear flag out and start really moving to the downside. And again, if you see this movement to the downside, just know that the Data Zero family are making bank because we have the positions that we needed because we literally knew where the top was and started loading up. Again, not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. But guys, this is everything I'm looking at for AMC. I am hopeful for the future. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds dumb. But we also have other multiple technicals on the macro showing that all of these things are playing out the gap fill. You can see this multiple um, year long. This is a four, long, four year long trend line that trends to the downside for um, AMC. A lots of things coming together now this four-year trend line that comes to the downside for amc we're finally filling all of this out i extended that line you guys can see that gap fill would play into that as well and then all of a sudden if and i extended the um wedge as well if you extend that you guys can see that we hit our head on the resistance hit our head on the resistance get a sharp drop down if we see a sudden reverse split again take off breaking out of the wedge taking off so again when i extended these lines this is what i seen i just simply extended them i did this here on stream as well multiple multiple things showing to be bullish if we do see a sudden push upside so i am hopeful for the future the only thing i wish is they didn't have the dilutive shares i am worried about that so i'm going to be playing this thing by ear and again people can call me a shill because i want to sell my shares for profit but um i think you guys want to make profit too so whatever but anyways guys i appreciate each and every one of you tune into the live stream tomorrow tune into the live stream tomorrow um i might have to have another appointment tomorrow i might have to have another appointment tomorrow around lunchtime or after hours after the market so i will let you guys know tomorrow but i will be streaming tomorrow um i will let you guys know exactly what's up but, but tune in 9 30 Eastern Standard Time market open for the stream. I will be streaming tomorrow. I might have one appointment, but I will be streaming. But guys, I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much. The growth has been crazy lately. I cannot be data zero without you. I will keep sharing the TA if you keep showing up. And as always, we do have the Discord. Discord is filling up last few spots, last few spots. So go ahead and hit me up if you want in the Discord. Hit me up before the price goes up. I just posted more winners. Someone just won $500 today. So hit me up. It is on email. Email is going to be linked down in the comment section in the description below. And as always, y'all, if you want to support me for free, all you have to do is simply drop a like, press subscribe, and leave a comment. As always, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out. All right, y'all, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like. Press subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more data zero updates. The Discord is $50 for a lifetime invite. $50 for a lifetime invite. All you have to do is message me on Twitter, Instagram, or email. All linked below. They're all linked below in the 
uh, description and in the comments. All you have to do is hit me up, pay via PayPal or Cash App, but make sure you hit me up first before you do so. Pay via PayPal or Cash App and I'll get you into the Discord. And guys, all you have to do to support me for free is simply drop a like, leave a comment, press subscribe. That is a great way to help this video get seen by more people. Sharing the video helps a lot as well. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you that watched this video to the end and that tuned in. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out.